Hello Libra and welcome to your December 2022 tarot forecast. I'm sorry I have this cat up here. He hopped up here. He's purring away. He will not get down. So I was like, okay, he wanted to join Libra's reading for some reason. He never comes up here. So here he is. So he's giving y'all some energy of some kind. So let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you guys in December 2022. What is happening for all Libras? Oh, okay. This just flew. Wow. So you've got ninth house energy. Interesting, Libra, because um, Pisces as well as Virgo received this card. So December is going to be a month where you are more in tune with yourself spiritually than you typically are. Like you're very intuitive. You're very empathic. You're reading the energy and the vibes 100% correctly. Okay, Spirit wants you to know that what you are picking up intuitively, empathically is absolutely right. And you need to know that because I feel you're going to make some decisions based more off of the energy that you're picking up on rather than things that have been said and things that have been done, okay? So really pay attention to what you are feeling intuitively as well as uh, empathically around relationships, situations, decisions that you have to make because you are very, very in tune. Ninth house is the house of Sagittarius, which is higher spirituality, higher learning, higher wisdom, higher understanding, okay? And this is an energy that's really dominating you for the month of December. So a lot of intuitive and spiritual insights, which is going to help you make some decisions and progress forward. It's like this is if there was ever a time to trust yourself and what you know you want and what is right for you is now Libra. All right. So let's pull another card. But now Jinx is moving on. See, he uh, he's a very special guy to me. When I am sad or, or feeling lonely or lost, I'll tell you, he seems to know. So he came to sit for you guys. You're my last reading for December. So he brought you guys something. Hopefully he doesn't knock everything off my desk walking around. But let's go. Give us another card for Libra. Oh, wow. Look at this. We've got the throw chakra coming through. Expression, assertiveness, self-control, and direction with will. See? Oh, my gosh, Libra. 33, and then you've got 30. That means this is an energy of building, of growing, okay? You've been on a journey, and it, it could just be spiritual, mental, emotional, all right, but over 2022, there's a lot that's been going on inside of you. And now as we come to the end of the year and we're getting ready to go into 2023, all these threes, you're very wise. You see the turtle there? You're very wise. And you've come to a point where you know what you want and you're going to be very activated to very much pursue it, okay? And, you know, sometimes things that we want, we hold back from them because of the amount of time it would take to achieve. But it's like that time's going to pass anyways, Libra. This, your heart, your soul is telling you this is your path. This is the way to go. And you, um, you're so connected into your like own free will of, of what you want. And maybe everybody around you doesn't exactly agree with maybe your choice or isn't quite sure about, you know, what you want here. It doesn't matter, Libra. What feels best inside you? Because you are very spiritually activated. And I feel you're being activated like this so that you do make this decision for yourself of what you really want, really pursuing your heart's desire, whether this is career, this is personal change, this is maybe uh, exploring your own spirituality, maybe even a relationship for some of you, 
okay? And it's like you've kind of been on a journey and now as we end the year, you're like, okay, I know exactly what I want. And you may have been holding back a little bit too because I just, you the free will, like your free will is uh, standing out to me very significantly. And I feel like you're finally asserting yourself, exercising your free will. Like, nope, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. And you're absolutely right because you're, you're feeling it from your soul. What, and, you know, I also have to say that, Libra, whatever calls to you in your soul through December, you want to pursue that. You want to follow that through. And it just be like a magnet to you. Like, you, you can't get away from it even if you try. Like, really, really follow the promptings and calling of your soul in December. Oh, wow. You got the Ace of um, Cups that just flew out. Yeah, if that's not follow your heart, I don't know what is. Okay. Oh, wow. Libra. Two Aces. Ace of Cups. That is heart activate activation. That's following your heart. Ace of um, Wands is taking action from what you feel. Oh, Libra. So, Ace of Summer, Ace of Cups. Open your heart to love, the beginning of a new intimate relationship or a rebirth of a current one, the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. And so, yeah, I feel um, some of you, this is really opening up to what you've decided you wanted and now you're going to finally take action. Some of you, this is an activation to your own spirituality and your own spiritual gifts. And because of that, now you're really going to pursue that path. Okay. So two aces right out of the gate. That's beautiful. Follow your heart, Libra. All right. Queen of winners, strong, patient, self-sufficient, funny, let go of people or things that no longer serve you. And now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. Okay, so this right here is definitely an energy of, you know, really sticking to your guns, to what you know is true for you and not letting people or situations get in the way of that. All right, and also um, now is the time to focus on your career. I do see some Libras really wanting to open themselves up to like a spiritually based business practice or open themselves up to that genre. And this is an absolute yes. Go for it, Libra. Seven of summer. No more, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing options. Okay, that's kind of what you've been doing throughout this year. You know, really weighing um, pros and cons. What do I want? And now you've come to the end of that, that self-discovery journey and there's no more time to waste. Libra, it's like you've got it. You're going to hear the call of your heart and in December, it, it's time to finally take action on that. Queen of Autumn, wow. Be practical with respect to how you proceed, the ability to make anything more beautiful, meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. Queen of Autumn, generous, stylish, gracious, practical. Okay, um, some of you, because we do have the Ace of Cups here, I do feel, and you know, Queen of Winter would be more of a representation of air energy, which is you. So for those of you where this is like around a relationship you wanna pursue, you decide, okay, this I wanna pursue this person, who you're pursuing is somebody who is very down to earth, very real, financially stable within themselves. Um, this is somebody you can trust. And this is somebody who I feel is very generous, very giving. This isn't like a, a flaky energy as somebody who's just going to bounce on you. This is very solid, okay? So, it's going to be nearly impossible, Libra, 
not to follow the call of your heart and your soul. It's so strong. Some of you, this is definitely around career. Others of you around a relationship. Um, so me, let's see. Wow. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> Some of you are around a relationship as this throat pops out. Okay. Um, or around your spirituality. Like those are the three strongest things I'm getting here. Okay. And the three of pentacles, we got all these threes. Remember three is building and growing. Okay. Temperance is the card that represents Sagittarius in the tarot. We're in Sagittarius season until about the 21st of December. Okay. So yeah, Libra, it is time to answer the call of your heart, whether around, you know, um, job, career, around love or around your spirituality. And see, each one of those things is very much represented. Love, job, spirituality. Okay, so those, it, it could resonate in a different area of your life as this is a general read, but those are the three strongest energies coming through for me. And yeah, it's time to pursue it, Libra. Oh my gosh, Ace of Cups under Ace of Cups. Yeah, and taking action because this can grow, this can build. It's like you've got this, Libra. And you know, maybe some of you want to own your own business, okay? And you just don't feel like you're in the place to do that at this time. That's okay. That doesn't mean you can't start planning it now. I just, whatever's going on, like you're answering a call to your heart. And I do know I that not everybody around you is like, oh, Libra, that's the best thing for you. They don't know. They're not walking your path. They don't know what would make you happy, what would fulfill you, right? And with two Ace of Cups, oh, yes, follow your heart. And look at, here's this angel holding two cups, and this is like a beautiful romance coming together. Six of Swords. And the magician, yeah. It's gonna be magic. And look, for those of, oh wow, oh, okay. <gasps> How is that card reversed in my deck when I do all upright? And we got that Ace of Wands right there. Oh my gosh, Libra. Okay, so this is just a quick message for those of you that's around a romantic situation, okay? You have taken no action or this person has taken no action or the two of you have taken no action with the Ace of Wands being reversed. But action's finally being taken in December. We see it there. All right. However, even though no action is taken, you both. Okay. Or, I mean, okay. So, you know what, Libra? I have to say this feels more of like a confession of like, let me pursue you or let me tell you how I feel because this is you opening up, right? So I feel this is more of where you have, like you've really thought about this person and I feel they think about you, okay? If there's already something kind of going on, if you've never really expressed, then, you know, I can't say the same, but I just feel like no action has been taken on a relationship that we kind of obsess over. It's like we've been very, very blocked, even though we wish for this. And here's that Queen of Pentacles again. Okay, this person, like. And maybe it's some of you, like you've met this person and you've just kind of been trying to know them and fill them out. And now you're like, yeah, this, this is it. This is that person. Also with this, Libra, those of you, I am telling you, who want to have your own job, your own career, you haven't taken action, even though you think about it so, so much. You hold yourself back out of a fear of like failure or something here and or not having like the right resources. And the spirit's like, no, Libra, take action. Start planning it now. Even if you can only, you know, write it down and, and make some future plans what steps you can take right now today, do that. Because this choice that you're making, where and you're making it based on this spiritual activation, it's been on your mind a minute. You just haven't taken action. 
and and now you finally are whoa <laughs> do not be tempted to lower your standards okay you know what this is telling you whatever this call is of your heart and soul whether spirituality career or relationship to not follow this to accept something less than would be beneath you would be lower standard than you deserve have no intimidation have no fear no matter how big this seems to you libra it's your destiny or you wouldn't be feeling that oh my gosh i put this in and it shuffled back out okay we will keep it yeah don't feel um like you'll never be able to achieve this dream. You'll never be able to fully open yourself spiritually or this relationship, like whatever. Like don't feel that you're not enough or that you, you wouldn't be able to accomplish it because you, you can. It's calling to you for a reason and to ignore this um, and just accept what comes by default would be lower, less than. So have no fear. It's time to act. It's time to take action. Gravel. Okay, so involvement with the law. So let's put that aside for a second. Wishbone. A wish is granted. Wow. Okay, take care of enemies working against you. Ear, good news. Vine, seek out information that will help you. And money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Oh my gosh, do you see that, Libra? Opportunities are windfall. Yes, those of you where this is a round job, it is time. It is time. Even look at this at the bottom. Libra, family, wishes come true. And then, oh my gosh, no way. Career. Family, wishes come true. And we have career. Relationship. Those of you where it's around this relationship. And then career. Okay, so... Um, This here is my only concerning message for you guys for December. If there's somebody around you, Libra, and I feel this is like maybe more like in your workplace or just like a really vengeful, jealous, like ex or something, steer clear of them. Don't engage them. Like if they're trying to provoke you, anger you, get you to fight with that, don't. Walk away from any sort of energy that's like that. And more to the point, anybody, because remember, your intuition is very activated in December. Anybody that you're getting a, a funky vibe from, like, you're just like, mm, I don't know. I don't know about you. Like, something's off. Trust that, okay? Really trust that. And also... um don't do anything, don't make any decisions in December that could, you know, get you in trouble. I know there's, the, you know, December, there's a lot of holidays. Um, if other people are being crazy, just kind of like stay out of all of that, Libra, okay? And again, anybody that you feel doesn't have your back, just disconnect, disconnect. But other than that, like, that's just kind of a, a side message I don't feel it's for every Libra out there. Um, good news is coming your way. A wish is granted, especially around relationship and career matters. Okay, the path of money. Dream your dreams, Libra, and now is the time to start working towards them. Um, now is the time to answer the calling of your heart and your soul for whatever that means for you. You have not taken action in the past, and now your whole reading is filled with, okay, it's time to act, it's time to decide, it's time to move forward. And it brings you lots of prosperity. It's the right path for you. And again, you're just going to be very activated spiritually. So what you feel intuitively, empathically, you are right on the money. You are right, you are right, you are right, Libra. 
Are you serious? See? Spirit's just laying it on tonight. You have a clear vision of things to come and your wisdom has been guiding you. Hello, the turtle on the journey. Continue to use that sense of future to direct your current path. Trust your instincts and share the divine messages from your heart with those concerned. Be open to needed changes. What are those needed changes, Libra? It's time to take action towards something. And you know what that something is because you feel it in your heart and soul. You have for a while, but you just have not taken action on it. Spirit is giving you the green light go, saying success and happiness is here, okay? And also acting upon that intuition. Is anybody that you feel is off or shady, you're right, Libra. You are right, okay? So those are your messages. I am sending you a lot of love and light. Take care, Libra.